As you know, I recently left my corporate job and I've been in total recovery mode all about self-care. One of my new routines is the nighttime shower before bed. There's just something about washing away the day and that reflection that's been super helpful for me. I've been using one of our partners, Osea's Mega Moisture Duo. This combo body oil and body lotion are so freaking incredible. It literally feels like I'm at a spa. I realize that the secret is seaweed and other skin level ingredients that are normally reserved for face products. And that's why I was so excited when Osea became one of our partners. And, you know, we're so grateful for partners like this because one, they keep the show going, but they're also super good for all of our listeners and for our own well-being. So if you want to have that nighttime bliss like I am doing, you can get 10% off your first order site-wide with code DATABLE at OseaMalibu.com. You'll get free samples with every order and free shipping on orders over for $60. So head to OSEAMalibu.com and use the code DATABLE for 10% off. Let us know which products you end up going with. Share them in social. Super excited to see what you end up choosing. The Dateable Podcast is an insider's look into modern dating that the Huffington Post calls one of the top 10 podcasts about love and sex. I'm your host, Yue Shu, former dating coach turned dating sociologist. You'll also hear from my co-host, Julie Kraftchik. On each episode, we'll talk to real daters about everything, from sex parties to sex droughts, date fails to diaper fetishes, and first moves to first loves. We are excited you've joined us for an older episode. While our earlier seasons were all about dating in San Francisco, we quickly realized all the themes and learnings are universal for all daters, so we shifted to covering dating from all around the world as the seasons progress. The fun part is, things happen first in San Francisco, the tech epicenter and counterculture capital of the world. We love for you to keep tuning in to our older episodes, but there is no set order to listen in, so feel free to jump to more recent seasons or relevant episodes for you. Enjoy the show. I was so excited to get my shipment from Last Bottle Wines in the mail the other day full of incredible red wines all from Napa Valley. I love wine tasting, so having this to my door couldn't be happier. Also couldn't be more excited that today's episode is brought to you by Last Bottle Wines. If you don't know already, they're a Napa-based online wine shop with a twist. They offer just one hand-picked wine per day until it sells out, and they're always at incredible prices. We're talking 30 to 70% off retail. And the best part is that there's no subscriptions, no fees, and no minimum purchase. And I could not be more excited to bring this offer right now because they're having a marathon sale, which is coming up March 28th and 29th. Even better, we're offering Datable listeners 10% off your first order with code Datable. So if you are a wine lover like me, this is a great time to join. And did I mention that shipping is 100% free? So so what are you waiting for? Mark your calendar for March 28th and 29th or get on it earlier if you want. You can sign up at lastbottlewines.com and use code DATABLE and find out why Last Bottle is the most fun way to discover and buy amazing wine. The Datable Podcast is hosted by me, I'm Yue, a former dating coach in New York turned active dater in San Francisco. On each episode, you'll hear commentary by my co-host, Michael Vargas, a fellow dating coach with a clinical psychology background, my producer, Julie Kraftchik, and other surprise co-hosts. Before this recording, we teamed up with a new Lively dating app to do a little online dating profile experiment. Lively is a dating app with videos instead of photos. So we wanted to see how your perspective about someone changes from seeing them in photos versus videos. We picked two subjects, Tiffany and David, and we headed out on the streets of San Francisco to get people to comment on their profiles, and we recorded the whole thing. You can find that video on our website. This episode is a continuation of that experiment where we invited a few of the people we met on the street to talk specifically about online dating profiles and the differences they saw with video. Let's just go around and introduce yourself, your name, and how long you've been online dating for. (laughs) I'm Edward, and I've been online dating for... When did online dating start? Oh, wow. Over a decade ago, then, probably. Hi, my name is Susan, and I've been online dating probably off and on for a couple of years now, like two, two plus years. Hi, my name's Sebastian. I've been online dating for three weeks. 
<laughs> Newbie. Hi, my name is Tiffany, and I would say about on and off a year and a half to two. Hi, my name is Amit. Uh, you guys remember MySpace? <laughs> Hi, I'm Christine, and I think I've been online dating for on and off four years. Um, this is Julie. <laughs> I've been online dating since, like, match. Let's go to the guys first. I want to hear, I mean, I'm sure you've seen thousands of girls' profiles. What are some of the things that you see in girls' profiles where you're like, why do people do this? So this has happened so much now where I kind of make it into a game but literally the, the Where's Waldo picture of which one is it, oh, I hate that. even if it's <laughs> just two of you. Sebastian? Um, I've been seeing recently a lot of Machu Picchu pictures. Yes, there's so like, many of just those. a ton. For and guys as well. Yeah, I think everyone did it in the last two years maybe. Also, there's an, an, there's an animal picture, which I don't hate, but I don't love. Like I'm petting a tiger, holding a tiger. It's just repetitive. I don't hate it, but it's just like really repetitive. Why do so many people have pictures with tigers? I don't have one. Where is the tiger petting facility? In Thailand. Thailand. Yeah. I, I, but maybe my pet peeve is professional shots. I mean, for, I agree with you, Edward. The worst thing is when you, you're like, which person is it? And to the T, it's always the one that you don't think is as cute. <laughs> I don't want this to come off the wrong way, but I do think there's a, and I, I don't know, I don't look at guys' pics, obviously, but but I look at uh, the girls I'm trying to meet, and you'll see a lot of girls who are in straight up, like, bikini shots, and like, everything hanging out, being like, no hookups, please. And that's their first photo. And I don't have anything against it. Look, if you want to hook up, whatever, that's totally cool. But it sends a weird mixed message, I think. But at the same time, it's sort of like, all of these dating apps are all about instant Sort of, you have to decide in an instant, do I want to mm. swipe right, swipe left? Is this someone I want to meet? And so while well, that sure. doesn't leave much to the imagination. Like if, if people who are like, I'm down to whatever, that's cool. But it's, it's like you're looking for something serious, but here's a shot that's hard to take seriously. Personally, as a woman, I like it when there's a guy, when there's a guy shot with him, you know, in his swimming trunks or something showing oh showing body. little skin yeah <laughs> even though i am not looking for a hookup personally but i appreciate that right for me i feel like anyone showing off their willing to show off their body on social media can either be seen as like cocky or sexual or just comfortable with themselves mm. but i guess guys in this room i just want to see you wouldn't say no to a girl because she has bikini photos. Women and men can do whatever they want and dress however they want. You should rock whatever you have. To me, it's just the weirdness of saying, like, I'm, I'm looking for something serious. And then all their shots I have, you can't tell if they're actually looking for something serious. You kind of infer things from a static photo. Like, oh, they must be, like, if they have the, you know, Machu Picchu, they love to travel, right? You know, or they're in wine country, they love to drink, whatever. So, like, you're inferring something from it. The hardest thing with an online profile is like, what really is, what is your intent? So uh, let's go around. I want to hear from the guys one more time. What are some photos that you've really liked? I mean, a variety is important, right? So outside of the usual travel shots or, or you know, your professional person, for me, anything with food is kind of a, oh, that's really cool. Like, what is she eating? Just that's, food or? No, her with food. Okay. Eating food. That's why you <laughs> like Tiffany's donut picture. Yeah, that was, that was a very good picture. I think sometimes there's photos that are like polarizing interests, like I ski, which is like a, a special activity that only a per certain percentage of the population does, mm -hmm. which either you're in or out. Mm -hmm. And that could be, I'm looking for a skier. So, What I really like is um, when you see a great photo with someone's eyes, mm -hmm. that, that just really communicates their personality. I think eyes are gorgeous. And when you see a woman who's like got a well-lit photo and it's her eyes are very clear, because you get a real sense of who they are, you know, it's just like direct closeness you know I appreciate that but what do all these photos really mean right what if they don't really ski or snowboard yeah. you find that out later you know what if it was a photoshopped like eyes right I mean how how do you really know how can you verify that <laughs> so of all the online dates you've been on what percentage of people you've met in, in real life match up to their photos I mean I I think I've been lucky you know like most people look like their photos there's a few instances where there's like more positive angle that people take and we all know what that angle is which angle is that <laughs> it's it's Step you know above. It, above. It's, it's the myspace angle right <laughs> <laughs> um so what percentage of people you've met in real life match what you thought they were going to be based on their i would say about 99 percent. wow that's really good yeah i think so sebastian 50 percent 
50 percent yeah i think that i'm someone that wants to meet the person in real life as soon as possible because i think that you can get a lot of that out of the way on the first date so maybe i infer too much or maybe i read into the photos but maybe 50 percent well, you've mm. also only been dating for three weeks, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but I went on nine dates last week. Wow. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> wait. wait. Edward? It's 90% who they are, but maybe 50% of who I, what I thought they looked like, but, but it is who they are. And I've probably only been catfish really once, like ever. So let's hand it over to the girls. Let's start with what do you not like? about certain pictures or whatever guys do on their dating profiles? Um, I would say I'm not a big fan of the gem selfie, mm -hmm. um, which yep. I see a I lot. I mean, I want to know that you do something besides just go to the gym. I get it's important. I get fitness is good. I probably can get that. Like, you can convey that some other way without showing me that you like to take pictures of yourself in the gym. It just, it just so douchey. It does. So douchey. Thank you. Actually, that is very correct. It just looks douchey. douchey. you got to have guts to take a picture at the gym. Right. Like, I've never done that. Right. I, I would feel embarrassed to do that. Exactly. So that says something that you're like, I look so good right now and I'm so picture. buff. I'm going to take a picture of myself. That yes, one and the bathroom selfie where you're naked. I mean, maybe if what? you're looking for hookups, that probably works for you. <laughs> so it's just not my thing. Yeah, it feels I've seen like bathroom selfies like from like neck down. Like I don't see your face. I, I, I'm kind of yeah. confused like what kind of face you're making. <laughs> do any of the guys in here have one of those photos? Raise your hand. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> As he's deleting those photos right now. <laughs> Tiff, anything else you can think of? Um, sunglasses. Oh, I, yeah. I mean, especially, like, I know you're partying with your boys in Cabo, bachelor party, but come on. Like, why are you posting that picture anyways? And you want to see their eyes, Exactly. Too. I'm, like, pretty sure they're bloodshot red or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Susan? So one thing that I used to see a lot of was skydiving pictures, which I don't yes. see a lot of anymore. I think it's gone the way of the tiger picture where people were hearing a lot of negative feedback, right? So that's been going away. But you saw a lot of those before? Yeah, I saw, like, pretty much, yeah, like half of them would have, like, a skydiving yeah. picture. But you can't even see it's their no, face, exactly. right? Oh, another one that I always think is, is great is the one where they take a picture of, of a car. Just like, oh, just yes, like, yes, like yes. only a car. Yes, but it's always car, like, car. but it's always like a sports car. And sometimes yes. they're not even in the car. Yes. So I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's not it's your. Yeah. 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 Like, I actually immediately think that's not your car, or yep. you're sometimes borrowing a car. You rented a car. You're parking a car. <laughs> that's not yours because you're so excited right. about this car. Or you're overcompensating because <laughs> you're not right. wealthy that you feel that you need to show so, it off. So exactly, this might be the only asset you have, and you live in your car. Like. I don't know. <laughs> Because <laughs> you love it that much. Yeah. One of the ones that I have is there's a lot of guys that don't smile in their photos. Like it's just straight faced. Mm -hmm. And I think they're trying to come off as like pensive or serious. Mm -hmm. But there's just no personality that comes through. So I think they have no personality. They did all the studies and I'm talking about what men, women like in photos and what guys like in photos. And they discovered that if a man's smiling, he's less likely to get a match versus if he's not smiling. And it's the opposite true for women. I think men have taken that study a little too literally. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually consult on dating profiles. I've looked at over like, I was counting the other day, 200 profiles for people. And these are some things I've seen where I've told people to get rid of. So for the girls, um, any pictures with a guy? That, since you say that. I mean, I'm like, I freak out, but obviously anytime there's a baby, you're like, yes. okay, are they, not that I have anything against dating, you know, single parents or anything, but it's like, exactly. Actually, exactly. a lot of guys do it, I think, to like, make it seem like they'd or be like, softer. good father potential. On the girl's side, any bridesmaids photos? I feel like guys are really against yes. these. Yes. Guys really hate bridesmaids photos. I mean, one is fine, but if there's like eight and they're all different, then... Yeah, that's maybe a, you have seven, 27 dresses. And on the guy side, beer pong. Such a turn off. I'm a beer pong champ. What? That will be my soulmate if you oh, have that. Yeah. <laughs>
Because apparently beer pong shows that the guy is a little immature, maybe a partier, not serious about dating. So if that's something that you really like doing, let's say you're part of a beer pong weekend team, okay? It's really important to put that out there, I think, so you do attract the type of woman that would like that. I think the story you have to paint has to be like a well-rounded story, but it has to be a story that is believable. I think a lot of people put pictures where they look the best, not necessarily the situation. So I think that's the fatal flaw in how I've only met 50% of the people I thought I was going to meet. I think that kind of ties a couple of things which I was thinking about before, which is I don't really take pictures of myself. And the only time I take pictures of myself are when I'm traveling and doing something cool and I look pretty good. I think one other thing to add to the whole like beer pong thing, what's interesting about photos is, and this isn't, I guess it's not just beer pong, it's the outdoorsy photo, whatever. You draw conclusions. Mm -hmm. So if you see a beer pong, you're like, this guy does this every Friday. Mm -hmm. But what if they were like celebrating some big occasion or like, what if they just went to Yosemite once and this isn't like an every week, like you just don't, yeah, you have no background of a photo. Well, I think that's the ultimate flaw of photos in general is that you're able to draw these conclusions really quickly. I mean, apps are now going in a direction where they're trying to show people beyond photos. So like the new Lively app, right? It's all videos. Video is a great way to show creativity. Like on Lively, I've seen guys' videos of them doing crazy flips and stuff. I could get into that. (laughs) Back to the um, beer pong one. So the girl saw the profile of David And it looked like the picture was him in a solo cup. So you think he's playing beer pong or you think he's partying. And then you see the video and he really made like a solo cup sculpture. How did how did that change your perspective? Let's talk about that. Um, I thought that was really interesting and and very creative, right? Because you're basically taking the typical narrative and you're flipping it on its head, right? By showing that he, instead of just playing beer pong, was doing something artistic, which was the exact opposite of what you expected. I will have to admit in that situation, when I saw the picture, I was questioning it. <laughs> it's kind of like, do you not have glasses at home? <laughs> it like it really was, fratty. it looked really. super fratty that he was just kind of like cheersing with his red solo cup. And I wasn't sure what he was doing with that. So I guess that just shows you that in a picture, you really don't get the full picture about someone. Yeah. Right? You have no idea of the context of the picture. Do you guys really look at all the pictures? I do. Yeah. I look to verify the first one. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Like, yeah. If it's a bad first one, it's done. If it's a good first one, I have to verify that this is consistently good and figure out the rest. So I really think your first photo, and, and as a photographer, I see this all the time, I don't think everyone's always the best judge of which one is your best photo. Mm-hmm. Like You should get someone else to tell you, like, this is your best photo. Because yeah. I have a lot of attractive girlfriends who will post what I think is like the worst photo as their first one and be like, this app doesn't work. I'm like, well, that's a terrible photo. You know? <laughs> I'm not saying you're a bad looking person. I'm saying the photo is just not a good photo. Put your bikini on. <laughs> and my question is, should dating profiles just have one or two pictures then? Because I feel like if profiles allow you to have more than three, it looks like, um, there's just too many choices and too, it opens up too many questions. Like, I think three is a great, three or four is a good number. A lot of apps have been changing their strategy to, like, be more of the whole picture because there's something wrong with the swiping culture. Yeah, just like how Hinge revamped itself and also Lively coming out with video profiles showing that apps are definitely trying to help us connect better with each other instead of just swiping, you know? Um, I want to go back to the girls and talk about what are some of the photos you have seen from guys' profiles that you've really liked? Okay, first comes to mind is with his mom. Yes. I, yes. But I think it's like, do they look like a nice person? Like, are they looking at you? Do they have a little bit of a smile? Like, do they look like someone that would be, like, fun to get to know? Yeah, the photos I like the most are clear face photos. I like to see their eyes. I like to see their face. If they're skiing or if they're snowboarding, that's awesome. But I want that to be the last photo. I'm looking for kindness in photos. If I can't see his eyes, I can't decipher if he's kind or not. Girls, of the dates that you've been on, online dating, what percentage matched up to who you thought they would be? Christine's about to cry. <laughs> I'm so single. <laughs> I would say most of them, like almost all of them have matched up to their photos, to be honest. 
Uh, I'm on Sebastian's boat, uh, 50%. Um, I can recall my first date on Tinder. I mean, he had the smirking photos, the like, look at you in the eyes and everything. But I did all the talking. He barely talked, right? What did he look like? He He looked like he would talk, but he wasn't talking at all on our (laughs) dates. Dates, plural. After four years, I've learned I'm a terrible judge of character through online profiles. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But I will say mine is probably about 10%. 10%? That's is it? That. Ten percent of people you've met in real life matched up to who you yeah, thought they would be. Yes. Wow. It has nothing to do with looks. It's yeah. it's just I clearly pick wrong on personality. <laughs> I've had some doozies. That's why I think videos would prevent some of this catfishing. Like on lively, you just can't change that much of yourself in video. Like it's impossible. With videos, it is hard to catfish because you can't exactly, like, you can Photoshop photos, but how do you Photoshop video? It's just, like, your whole, it kind of captures you and your essence, so it's really hard unless it's, like, not your video. But that's a professional to be able to Photoshop your own video. So I actually saw a stat somewhere that people found that social media profiles told them more about someone than their online Mm. dating profile, which I actually thought was interesting because people aren't tailoring it as much as they are for their online dating profile so it might actually show a more realistic view of you and like i don't know about you guys like snapchat i feel like you get like the most real view into people because they're just doing random stuff but like their personality comes through a lot so i think that there is some like benefits of kind of adapting some of that into dating potentially yeah, I would say I'm an avid Snapchatter, and I find that I do get a lot more comments about like, you know, oh my god, I didn't know you were so funny, you know, exactly. or something like that, or you know, right. you have like it's hilarious, like you know, hanging out with Uber drivers and interviewing them and stuff like, you know, just random stuff that you do that you would never take a picture of and or a still shot of, like you would never capture that any other way. But yeah, you're right, like things like Snapchat and those like small just things that you consider completely random clips are sometimes the things that like so i'm telling the most and about i think you. also like you can't see a personality in a photo right it's just not possible you can you but can. it may not be the right personality it, <laughs> it's an good inferred point. Good right point. it's an inferred and you have to try hard sometimes to convey it oh i don't know if anybody's ever gotten this before but a few dates i've been on the guy has said oh i didn't know if you could speak english or not oh <laughs> ouch because they weren't able what? to get that from wow. my photos. What? <laughs> wow. So I've had guys who said, I didn't know if you spoke English or not until I found you online through social media and I saw videos of you speaking. Yeah. yeah. Terrible. I've gotten that a few times. I think, I think you see a lot of the swiping culture apps calibrating towards adding personality. You know, Snapchat, Spotify, Instagram. And it's a matter of what people link. Uh, I think... The thing that I would look for is how can I get all this personality from this person in bed at night, just swiping through their program without actually having to go to the bar and potentially getting rejected. (laughs) I think that one thing that would be really great is a live video chat, right? So let's say you match with somebody and then you can right away like talk to the person, right? Or do like a FaceTime or something, but that's just not socially accepted, right? But I think people are very intimidated by that. A lot I think of apps so. have tried that, yeah. and it puts it puts you on the spot. I think that's the issue. I think that, that there's a cultural gap within mm-hmm. online dating itself that needs to be bridged. I feel like now I'm going to go back to social media sites again, or just internet stalking, and don't judge me for this. But Plus, I, how many of us have internet stalked someone that you met online? I mean, every day, oh, let's right. be honest. You should for safety. That's what I was going to say. Right I was going to say, I do it for safety. Also, I mean, I've done it because I've internet stalked someone and found something bad, so I always do it. Do you think girls do it more, guys? I think girls do it more. Yeah, for sure. But, yeah. I mean, it's not and I'm really this good at day, it. Yeah, I'm so good at it. But I've actually, there was this one guy who was, like, on the fence of going out with and then I found he he had like a lot a video of him like teaching actually so it's like not even sexy at all but I actually could like hear his voice see his like mannerisms yeah and I actually was like oh he's not what I thought from these photos so I actually gave it a chance where I wouldn't have before and in an environment where he's not trying to impress you well yeah I think that's the key and that's kind of what we talked about with snapchat and all these other ones it's not necessarily you like in the we talked about with the issue when it's like a live video that you feel like you have to put on your makeup and do this whole thing 
Yeah, I think it's smart for an app like Lively to combine in the moment videos with your dating profile. Let's go back to the topic of videos because I want to I want to focus on Tiffany for now because we just looked at Tiffany's profile. Uh, we saw her photos and we saw her videos. I want to go around the room, just ask the guys, how did your perspective on Tiffany change from photos to her videos? It was like a thousand percent difference for me. And like that video of you dancing, I was like, hot mama, holy shit. Just so you know, across the board, guys and girls who saw that video of you dancing, they were like, damn. Yeah, I, I just, I, I, I think you get a lot of ideas. Like your per like the donut one was kind of like what's going on with the donut, and you, you, I don't think most girls put pictures of them eating donuts on their on their you know dating. But see, okay, someone made the point. Some girls may post pictures with food, but they don't eat the food. Right, and, the, and I thought it was great what she was doing in the video because you're like, oh, she like loves this stuff. Yeah, it's totally like a little crook or something about something that you wouldn't get from a picture in any way, shape, or form, really. So mm -hmm. I was, was a total revelation of, of who she actually was rather than just a couple pictures here and there. Uh, the two pictures we're referencing are one of Tiffany dancing and then a video of her actually dancing and then another picture of her holding a donut and then the video of her actually eating the donut plus a bunch of french fries. The fries. <laughs> <laughs> donut and a fries. Sebastian? I mean I really took the intangibles from it. To see someone laugh is amazing compared mm -hmm. to any amount of pictures you'll ever see. And to see a straight face donut fried contest was just like the way you handled that was hilarious. And you, that could never come out in a picture. I want to remind Tiffany the photos that she picked. And I want her thoughts on why she picked these photos. I think it's always good to know why people post the photos they do on their profile. What about this posed dance photo? The pose, I just look good. <laughs> so Tiff, I hate to break it to you. I hate to break it to you, but all the guys we spoke to did not like this photo. Oh, really? that's exactly what Ahmed said. That yeah. girls yeah. do not have the same judge. Yeah. yeah. So the photo is of Tiffany outside. Where is this? Palace of Fine Art. Okay. And you're in this like beautiful outfit and you're doing kind of a dancey yoga y pose. And every guy said why is she posing so hard? All right, let's turn it over to the girls. You guys saw David's photos. How did your perspective about him change from photos to video? I definitely really appreciated having the videos. I think they gave a lot more context to him. I think there were a lot of things that you could just like make judgments on with his photos, such as like the uh, red cup was mainly like one of them. Um, and I think like him holding the scotch too was also was like, okay, he has a lot of like, drinking, hanging out pictures, like what's going on. For people listening at home, they haven't seen the video. The Scotch video is of him holding Scotch, reading a book in a library. Which I and everyone was like, what is this? Yeah, what is and you on? play the video and he's just, he's just fooling around. I mean, he's not right. He's just joking. And then he's holding a book that says, she comes first. And the solo <laughs> cup, the solo <laughs> cup is again of him cheersing with a solo cup, yeah. but then the video is him making a solo cup tower. Yeah. I think one thing that is hard to convey in photos is a sense of humor, right? That's always very, very hard to do. You can do it in your written profile, but oftentimes some people who are very funny in person might not be as funny in their profile and vice versa, right? I mean, this guy obviously had a good sense of humor and he conveyed it through the videos. So Susan, take the mic still. We're gonna do a little experiment. This is the last thing we're gonna do. Take out your phone. <laughs> Show us, show us your dating profile, and we're all gonna comment as a group. Which one? <laughs> choose, a, choose the one you feel most confident about. Okay, this is my we're Tinder only gonna profile. look at photos, so not commenting you, on what she wrote. First one's a, a, a double. Okay, so guys, if you saw this as a first photo, nope. confused. I usually nope. guess. Confused. I usually guess right, but yeah, you know, that's the game that I played in. Uh. Okay, next, rafting. And you got the sunglasses on, it's kind of hard to see what you're doing. Obviously, you know how to have fun, which is nice. But and it's a weird angle. It's weird. Yeah, it That's looks weird. like you're playing Golem. <laughs> and I also say because the first one was two of you, then you still don't know. Oh, who that's true, who yeah. You are. We don't know who you are yet. Okay, okay next. Um, what? <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. So, so this is a this is a picture of me 
with a goat and we're taking a selfie together. <laughs> That's a pretty cute one, but I would love to see that as a video. I would love to see what the goat is doing. So, I think this photo is hilarious, but looking at you in person and looking at this photo, you are way more attractive in person. Mm. And I think the photo, whether whether it's the angle is not right or whatnot, the, fo the content's hilarious. The goat is amazing, it's hilarious. Yeah. But I think the actual quality of the photos in terms of yeah. representing you, is it could be better. The goat looks amazing. Yeah. Next, <laughs> we're gonna see a ton of goat protein. Oh, oh Brian's face! Oh, oh, oh. It's you also like, where's Waldo? So you are in the middle. There's two guys. Um, See, I would ask who the girl on the left is. But this one makes it pretty <laughs> clear. <laughs> so she's in the middle of two girls. There's three of them in this photo. The friends draw attention away, away from, from you. just you. So, so far, too, this is, you've only had one photo of just you, and there was technically a goat in it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Susan, why don't you crop this photo? Why don't you crop the girls out? You oh, still no. look beautiful. Right? Crop it. <laughs> Next. Oh, I like that. One. Except you have so your it's like a side profile photo. You're showing your legs. You have sunglasses on. I like your it. legs look really good You're in this out photo. On the, your legs the look ocean. great. So the third photo is of her jumping with two friends. They're in midair. The jumping photo. Oh, the is jumping photo. Ever, you guys don't like the jumping photos? Who does the jumping what, what photo? Is, First of all, of I can't tell which photo. one's you. It's hard to Second, see. You. Third of all, that guy's an amazing jumper. It's my brother. You're hey. the lowest jumper out of all. Three. Yeah, you're the lowest jumper. <laughs> you're the lowest More jumping jumper. proficiency. It's it's cliche, but then again, I understand why people do it because yeah. like I know how yeah. to be silly. Takeaways. Any takeaways that we learned tonight? Don't show your friends your profile ever. <laughs> Multidimensional with mm -hmm. what you do and who you're with. Um, I think that there's the whole story. I think that's a huge thing. Like. I've no I personally we can judge my profile later, but I've always done what are the best photos that I think of myself, not the context, like Sebastian said, that people don't necessarily think about the whole thing, but people read into it more than you think. Go home and have your closest friend of the opposite sex make your profile. Yes. 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 I will be doing that tonight. <laughs> ask your closest friends to look at your profile and ask them if it portrays you in the way that they know you because yeah. they know you the best and sometimes you're so tied to your own profile that you don't know how to you know change it or make it better all right guys this was really fun i think we should do this again it's like a little support <laughs> yeah. group for all of us online daters <laughs> um last but not least one two three stay dateable have you ever thought that your online dating profile photos may not be showcasing the real you video tells your story better we like to thank the Lively app for teaming up with us for this experiment. And your action item for this week is to try to express yourself through video. Upload those videos onto Lively and let us know what you think of the app. To connect with us, visit datablepodcast.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all under Datable Podcast. Mm -hmm.